Superman looms large in the otherwise unassuming quiet town of Metropolis, Illinois. But there is a fight brewing over the town library that locals worry even the Man of Steel couldn't resolve. We've got to protect one to protect them all. Everyone needs to just stand up. Rhonda James oh, never imagined being president of this small town library board would be controversial. She says, I did not bring my children to the library for religious indoctrination. In the winter, she started receiving letters saying her library director prayed with children, pushed Christianity, and had quietly removed computers and thousands of books with themes about sexual identity, other religions, and even Halloween. In all the years that you've been on the library board, have you ever received letters like these? No. The board confronted the library director, who answered NBC affiliate WPSD when asked if the library censored materials. Absolutely not. Board members say they asked her to sign a form promising to end prayer in the library. When she refused, the board terminated her, further fueling a small town's battle over its library. The libraries have things that come straight out of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is Brian Anderson, a town councilman and pastor, preaching to his congregation, which includes the mayor, that Satan was in the library. These children that you see here, the enemy hates them, and the enemy wants to kill them. Typically, Baptist pastor Glenn Corum says he agrees with other conservative ministers on moral issues, but not this one. You've got someone who's pushing to enforce religious agreement on a public institution. Should the local library reflect the views of the majority? No, I don't think so. The library opens up the world to, to entirely different ways of thought. In March, Metropolis Mayor Don Canada sided with Pastor Anderson and announced he'd remove library board members, a step the Illinois Secretary of State called unacceptable. The mayor paused his plans. Do you think that prayer is appropriate in the public library? Well, now, it depends. Yeah, I'm going to say that if you're asking me, is it, do I think it's all right? If it was approved by everybody involved, then I don't see what the problem is. At a public town meeting, council member and pastor Brian Anderson declined to speak with us. Why was no comment there? Anybody know that? But people there had plenty to say about him. His behavior has consequences that go on beyond the library. The mayor now has until June to make a decision about the library board. Rhonda James left worried about her fate and her community. We want to have freedom to practice whatever religion we want or to not practice religion. We want to have the freedom to gather information and learn things. For the love of the library, she says she'll stand her ground. Antonia Hilton, NBC News, Metropolis, Illinois. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.